What's going on guys? It's X with Jesse and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Fibonacci extension or retracement rather. Both of them are going to be very similar. I use the retracement. Some people like to use the extension. Like I said, very, very similar in how they're used. So if you don't know, I use TradingView. Here off to the left hand side, you'll see the toolbar. You can right click that and Fibonacci extension will be one of these options or sorry, retracement will be one of these options. Go ahead and put a little star up to there and it'll uh, add it to this toolbar here. For those of you who don't know, most of my trading plan is surrounded by institutional trading. I want to trade alongside of the institutions and the algorithms because I know that they make up the very, um, they make up a lot of the market, right? They're the, the high majority of traders and I want to trade alongside of them. Um, I don't ever want to really catch the trend or the top of the bottom of the trend, I want to just be in the ride for the middle. And essentially, Fibonacci retracements are going to do exactly that. So Fibonacci's are simply the calculation of a move. So if you draw the first click is going to be your zero line, or sorry, your one line, and your second click is going to be your zero line. And so that is going to be 100% of the move. And now if you take the move, if it if the move is, you know, 50 points, your Fibonacci extension 50% level is going to be at 25 points, right? So very simply, these are just calculations of the move. So the 0.5 is going to be a 50% retracement. The 0.618 is going to be a 61.8% retracement, and so on and so forth. So here are my settings. I have trend line as white. This just shows me uh, where I drew the line from and to. I have 0, 1, and 78.6, as well as the 38.2, all labeled as white. And uh, if you don't know, you can, you can label these as 38 or 50 or whatever you want to label them as. Um, but these need to stay, stay pretty similar, right? So you can change the color, you can change um, the opacity, you can change whatever you want, just make sure that the numbers stay the same. So I have the 0.5 and the 0.618 as yellow because that is what I and many others call the golden zone. The, then I have the negative 0.25 and negative 0.618 as green because those are going to be my price targets. Now I'm going to leave you this video um, with the ability to trade only Fibonacci's and you'll be able to trade them profitably. So like I said, the 50% and 61.8 are what's known as the golden zone. A lot of traders will look at this zone as their only entry for any ticker, any symbol, anything that they want to enter, um, because statistically this is where a lot of algorithms put their resting orders for a retracement. Now this is a normal retracement, right? If we have a sharp increase, so say this sharp increase, we don't necessarily have to to go all the way back to the 618. Here I can look at it and say we did, but we don't have to, right? So you want to keep that in mind. This is not, you know, the only, um, price action doesn't always have to come back to this golden zone. It can bounce right off of the 50% level. It can bounce off the 38.2 level. It can bounce, it can go further than the 61.8. So this is just part of the, the problem, right? Part of this, part of the, equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our line from the wick, the bottom wick of the start of the move or the top of top wick of the, the start of the move if we're measuring a, a bearish move. And I like to draw wick to wick. Some people draw body to body, I draw wick to wick. So I draw to the top of very top wick in that move, right? So I would say that this yellow candle started the move. I'm going to go right from the bottom of that wick all the way to the top of this wick. And then as you can see, we have a 50% retracement. And, and we have the benefit of looking at this hindsight, but what I would strongly encourage you guys to do is to backtest this, and you'll see just how profitable it can be. So for, for those of you who are not using just Fibonacci's, you would use this, and then you would look for the the 50% retracement level, and then you would look for a change of character. And what does that look like? 
Well, simply put, it would be taking out the highs of this candle here. So as soon as we take out this high, let me change this to yellow so it's easier to see. And we'll make it a little thicker. So once this is changed to yellow and this candle takes out this previous high, now we're going for higher highs. And that would be your entry signal. So very simply put, you're drawing your Fibonacci level from the bottom of the wick to the top of the wick or vice versa. So let me draw one for the for a bearish move. Again, I'm going to click the Fibonacci tool. I'm going to go from the very top of the wick, so I'm going from here, but I'm going a little left to catch that price action. And then I'm going to draw to the bottom of the wick. And as you can see, I mean, I didn't do this any planning before this video other than what I was going to talk about. I didn't look at the chart. But as you can see, we had a full move down, and where did we go? We went for a retracement. And where did we reject? The 50% level. And so it's just that simple. And when you think about it from a logical standpoint, and you'll hear me say it over and over and over in these these uh, educational videos, I like to think logically when I'm trading, right? And for me, logically, we went all the way down here and then we lost momentum. So now we got to retrace and pick up some orders. Well, all these algorithms are automatically putting these orders in at this golden zone. And not, it, doesn't, it doesn't always, like I said earlier, it doesn't have to reject. But there's so many orders that are automatically placed there that a lot of times it does reject, right? So if I look over here, let's say this isn't here anymore, and I'm looking for a bullish move. I'm going to catch the first wick of the move, and we're going to go all the way up here. We didn't quite reach this 50% level, right? But if I'm looking for a change of character, then I'm already catching this move and going to ca capture some profit on the way up. So anyway, let's take those out. So we know how to draw a bullish retracement. We know how to draw a bearish retracement. Now, how do you play it, right? I already said you're going to wait for the change of character, right? So you're you're capturing the move. You've come down to retrace. Now you're looking for a change of character in the direction of your trend. Now you need to know where you're at in the market. If you're making higher lows or and higher highs, you are only looking to play bear or bullish, not bearish, bullish. So you're going up and then you made a higher low, right? So now you're looking to enter a long position or a call if you're playing options or or enter a buy position and futures or indices and you're looking to go long right and then these levels that are automatically triggered at the negative 0.25 and the negative 618 are going to be your price target 2 and your price target 3 um, respectively right your first price target is your full retracement so as soon as it hits this this is zero you can consider your play has hit your price target now you need to manage risk Right, so now you need to trim or or whatever your your risk management plan is. You need to start managing risk, and then after it hits your second price target, you need to do the same thing. Third price target, do the same thing, and as you can see, this ran forever. Right, so you you got in all the way down here at the very best point you could without you know starting the trend. Essentially, is what you would have done down here, but you get caught back on the retracement and a perfect entry to go long and you uh, you would have captured a lot of profit there right so let's go back and and uh, look for a bearish retracement like I said earlier it doesn't have to retrace all the way to the 618 or the 50 percent so looking at this this only retraced about a quarter of the percent right so ab about 0.25 now it can if it's a strong move and if it doesn't need to retrace very much then you can you can look for a change of character here at the 382, but you need to know that your risk reward is probably going to be uh, a little less versus having a uh, a good entry here at the 50% retracement. Right. Again, after you practice this, you can just take a look, and I saw that 50% retracement without even drawing the line. Right. I knew this trade was going to be a 50% retracement. And here, again, right here, this is probably between a 38.2 and a 50%. And that's exactly what it was, 38.2 and 50%. And I'm not, I'm not doing this post-production or anything like that. That's just the practice that you have. And once you get really good with fib retracements, you can play them either alone, or I use them with my regular strategy. I play the strat, and then I also look for fib retracements off of the strat, right? So I'm looking for an entry already, and then, you know, I'm looking for a 2-1-2 reversal to, to catch the further move to the upside. 
well, I'm going to draw a fib line. If the stars align and that's a 50% retracement with, and it's in the golden zone, then perfect. And I'm entering and I'm pretty confident in that trade. So I hope this video helped. Just a very down and dirty rundown of fib retracements.